So in this video, we're going to talk about the new student loan forgiveness plan. We're going to talk about how it works, whether you're eligible, and what this means for the larger student debt crisis. So President Biden came out with an announcement a couple of days ago that you would be eligible between ten dollars and $20,000 of federal student loans if you were making $125,000 or less annually, and that they would pause student loan payments for the final time up until December 31st of 2022. So how does this work? Well, the onus of figuring this out falls mainly on the Department of Education. Now, the problem is that they don't have complete income data for the approximately 43 million Americans that are eligible. They say that approximately 8 million of those, they have the income data, so they would be forgiven automatically. But for everyone else, they're going to have to sign up, verify their income information, and apply for the loan forgiveness program. There are just a few problems, though. The Department of Education is not a bank or a financial firm. In general, they are understaffed and overcommitted, and now it's their job to go out and verify all of the income for millions of Americans. Once they were able to verify all of the income information, they would have to then go out and talk to all of the loan servicers to adjust the new balance and the new payment levels. And the website studentaid.gov has been hammered with traffic in the past couple of days since the announcement. And even if all of this process went smoothly, some Americans won't even know that they have to follow these steps. So even if they are eligible, they might not get the forgiveness that they deserve. Well, this is a really nice one-time bonus payout, but what does this mean for the larger student debt crisis? This is such a big problem in America because there's currently $1.75 trillion worth of student debt. And a trillion is a number that's just so hard to visualize. For example, a million seconds is about 12 days. A billion seconds is about 31.7 years. A trillion seconds is 31,700 years. 31,000 years ago is older than cave paintings found in France. And while this is undoubtedly good news for those who have student loans. I hope that we can find a better solution in the future. Let me know down in the comments if you're eligible for this payday. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.